The battleground Canada now in a new round of ad wars between the Conservatives and the Liberals. These are radio ads only. There's a series of three from the Conservatives. They've been heard in the wild, as we say, on stations in St. John's, Newfoundland, heard here in, in Ottawa and in Vancouver. The Liberals this week released two ads. They are only on the Liberal website right now. So far as we know, we do not have any reports that anyone has actually heard them on a radio station in the wild. Now, I have just put all five ads up at my blog, and I've just tweeted out the link and put the link up at my Facebook page. If you want to go there, facebook.com slash David Aiken, twitter.com slash David Aiken. You want to hear all these five ads. We're going to play a couple of them. I want to play the first one right now. Uh, they, they, uh, f four of the five feature each party's leader. Four of the five. That's unusual. Take a listen to this conservative ad featuring their leader, the Prime Minister. My wife and I got into public life because we were tired of politicians raising our taxes without delivering real benefits to hard-working families. I'm Stephen Harper. That's why our government pays benefits directly to parents, so you can choose what's right for your family. Right now we have a plan before Parliament that would put more money into the pocket of every single Canadian family with kids. Our government is committed to delivering benefits directly to you. Stephen Harper, strong leadership for a serious job. A message from the Conservative Party. All right, there you go. Michael Diamond is a Sun News contributor. He is in our Toronto studios. Michael, you've heard those ads. I want to start with the first four words of that ad. My wife and I. You know in advertising, every word you pour over, they mean something. My wife and I got into politics, blah, blah, blah. Why are we, why is Lorene, is it useful to have Lorene playing a uh, bigger role uh, in the politics of her husband uh, going into this election? You know, probably good politics. She's definitely a very likable person, so I think they're going to make a more concentrated effort. And it also, you know, this is a policy about families, so focusing on families, I mean, it makes sense. This is a far more positive ad uh, from the Conservative Party than I think we're used to seeing. I, I will uh, let you know, I was meant to tweet at you, but I heard earlier in the day on Toronto Radio a negative Conservative attack ad on uh, Justin Trudeau, not nearly as uh, positive as this one. But this w Was is that the one with, it's just, a, it's not the Prime Minister's voice, it's a, it's a, a Sort of narrator's voice, Precisely, right? and that was on, I think, 990 FM here yeah. in Toronto this afternoon. But uh, this one, you know, I think it's really a return to a, a more positive campaign. They're focusing on promoting their own policy and really trying to set the uh, agenda ahead of the next election. Well, and as I mentioned, it, two, two of the three conservative ads, the PM is the narrator. And in that one, you're hearing him make the positive pitch. He's a government of, you know, all for families. Uh, the other one is also along the lines of, you know, we're going to give money to families. And he just makes reference to other parties will want to raise taxes. And the one you heard was definitely naming the Trudeau Liberals uh, by name. But the interesting attack in that, saying the Trudeau Liberals will raise taxes, you remember the tone of the Tory attack ads five months ago, all Justin Trudeau was some sort of crazy, mixed up, uh, striptease kind of guy who likes to smoke pot. These are much more on his substance and policy. I think this, the Conservative Brain Trust, they've made some decisions that those other ads, maybe they weren't working so well. Oh, absolutely. And it was a good decision to make that change because it obviously, you know, polling and by-election results were something that just wasn't uh, galvanizing uh, voters. There is a bit of that. I think the tagline, I forget the exact wording, but, you know, a serious person for a serious yes. job is obviously very important and, and plays into the narrative they were building in before. But this is much broader. It's, it's positive on their leader. Uh, it, it, it's prov providing uh, policy alternatives and really, I think, will probably make the point they want with voters. And, and of course, most attack ads, this could be anywhere, any jurisdiction. The attack ad, it's not the leader uh, who voices the attack ad. You leave that to a narrator. I want to play the liberal ad now. There's two, uh, and this is this is an attack ad, folks. It's a, it's saying something bad. The other guy's doing something bad, and it is the leader who is doing the voiceover here. This is Justin Trudeau. Listen to this. Worked hard and sacrificed so we could have a balanced budget, and nobody understands sacrifice more than our veterans. But Stephen Harper isn't investing our surplus to help veterans get the care they need. Instead, he says he'll give over $2 billion every year to wealthy Canadians with his income-splitting plan, but still enforce cuts to veterans' mental health programs. I'm Justin Trudeau, leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, and I think that's wrong and unfair. We have a sacred duty to Canadians who risked their lives for us. They were there for us. Now, we need to be there for them.
This is a radio ad, Michael, but you know what? I, first thing that popped in my mind when I heard it was the ad that Kathleen mm -hmm. Wynne had against Tim Hudak. You know, she's walking down the street saying, this guy Hudak's crazy. Same sort of thing. Worked for Wynne and the Liberals. We know there's close tie between the Ontario Liberals and Trudeau's Liberals. I, I think they're, they're looking at that and saying, let's try something along those lines. Absolutely. You know, that example from last spring is really the only time I can think of with a, a leader of a party actually uh, narrating a negative attack ad. And so now we see Justin Trudeau doing it, obviously uh, building on some of the government's weaknesses with the Auditor General's reports on Veterans Affairs and really uh, providing an alternative to the uh, the uh, tax uh, cut for families that the other ad we listened to was was describing. So really, both parties seem to be in agreement. This is the issue they want to talk about, and they're in a race to uh, define it. Michael Diamond joining us from Toronto tonight. Michael, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. It.